and see if I go all the way around this one, then it becomes more like kind of a, a boily kind of kind of shape. And again, emphasizing some some real highlights right up against the dark always kind of gives you that gives you that kind of fold going on. All of a sudden, that shape just meets a another shape. Again, just kind of going loosey goosey here. I'm going to do another kind of highlight line. See how that kind of gets these weird. Now we get these kind of tendon shapes happening, which again is pretty cool. I like what's going on down here, and you can see how that's now. Now that's a. I'm letting the light hit the bottom of it, so it goes. In as a as a sort of as a whole. Give me a good warm up going from a monster in the next tutorial I'm doing is a is a pretty superhero woman, so it'll be nice going from a monster to that. Again, I'm just kinda you know, just doing some even a little bit of kind of pressing and dotting out and such. And now if I wanted to uh, Again, like I said, let's say they wanted to bring this all forward a little bit more. I could just go ahead and, and hit it with a big dodge tool. Now, notice what happens. Okay, this is it on highlight. And see how it goes to these kind of burn shapes if you press too hard? So that's, I, that's one of the things that I, I think people really have to be careful of. If I go to mid-tones, it more just lightens that whole area because it doesn't pull those brights that much brighter. Do you see what I mean? Then as you're kind of working on, a sh on things like this, it's really kind of important to sort of, uh, you know, squint a little bit at it and see what's working and what's not. Because you you don't want to get too lost in the details. It would be very easy to just, now I'm, hitting the, I'm going back in with uh, the burn tool again. It would be very easy to just sit there and start, just go too crazy with that. But you can see how you need to like start This could just be your way where you're just defining. Again, this is a, a decent sized brush. Not the biggest, but not the smallest either. And again, I'm just letting it sort of around. I, I, I want these sort of goopy shapes. I don't necessarily want the smooth shapes on this creature. This is back with the dodge tool. And again, see, like I mean, you can almost see if you again if you squint your eyes and you're doing these big brushes. This is kind of like what the out of focus version of the, the the piece looks like, and then the smaller brushes are what you use to bring it into focus. So you can see how that's really kind of coming out. Especially, too, if you're doing a value thing like this, you can really use it as something then you'd put in an overlay mode over another piece or something. I, I just finished a spawn painted cover um, that had um, a spawn that had a lot of this sort of Geiger-esque detail in them. Thinking about some sort of tendon y shapes in there.
see if I hit the top part of sort of the wrinkle, right? And then I come in with a smaller brush and go in that darker area, how you get that sort of, that gives you this more of a like nasty sort of fold. I know it like goes against what you would think, but that's where increases is where often something was sort of slimy, some of that slime would, would sit and then really sort of be glistening in there. See, so I'm doing some of these shapes. I'm going to emphasize some of these little blips again that I got here. And I'm going to go back in and emphasize the other part, the shadow part. Let me see how that's working out. Again, I don't care about going right across those, those uh, you can even call them like stri striations, striations uh, that are in muscles that go across. See some of those really big bodybuilder guys where they, you can see all those kind of cords sticking out of the muscles. Well, these aren't muscles, but they're organic, so they kind of follow the same sort of idea. Emphasize the top part of that nose so it comes out a little bit. I mean, it goes in and then it emphasizes that it's going out by having the shadow part. So I'm just going right across. I think you'll see how that's really, how this really is a cool way, especially to do kind of beasties. Because I, again, I'm not, you know, just, I mean, you could do back and forth with with airbrush and, and, and get the same effect, but since this is a, again, you're going for that slime factor here. It has a definitely an interesting flow. If you want to mess with some some teeth, I'm just pressing a little harder to get kind of more of a edge here. If this was like the edge of his face, I'd want to make sure I more turned the form here a little bit by adding darks along that side. And you can go back to a this is a hard airbrush tool on white, you know, if you want to come back and Give yourself a real edge here. Kind of clean things up. Again, this is almost like a, a mask at this point. Leave it in a little rough and go back to the dodge tool to render out this tooth. Give it a little bit of a secondary light to have that shape come in a little bit better. <coughs> 